Hello and welcome back to Hearthstone. My name is Lumen and right now we're back in the arena, back with a paladin, back with our three wins and one loss. And hopefully we're going to improve on this. I did say that I want four wins or more, so we're going to shoot for that. I know I'm not really setting my expectations very high, but I don't expect much from my arena runs at this point or the deck that I made here. I don't have that much faith in my arena ability just yet. I'm doing reasonably well in rank play, but my arena play does need some work. So this is me putting in the time. I'm so glad I got that fourth card to see that I have to drop pretty much all of them. I'm going to keep the sword just because that's good to have. But I need cheap stuff, please. That's much better. Not perfect, but it's much better than I had before. Hammer of Wrath. Hmm. So I got some 3 damage removal, some 4 damage removal. Smallish creature, biggish creature. It's okay. And the Berserker is a good minion to just toss out there with a coin. Kind of early on. Let's get my zebra pelt out. Because you know what? We need that luck. We do. Uh. Well met, well met buddy. Greetings. So. Do I or do I not? I don't think I do. I think what I do do <laughs> is coin the berserker out. I mean, I could have taken the chance, waited a little longer with a Sword of Justice. But what I want now instead is to get this out and then to reinforce the next turn. Ah. Great. Just great. Still gonna reinforce. Because I'd like to have this a 2-2 with Divine Shield. That would be great. Weapons, man. Weapons are just so good in this game. Mainly because health... It's not really that important. In most cases, I'd pay... A rather large sum of health to be able to clear the board with a weapon. I would. Come Garrosh. Come Jacob. What now? It's Light of Fire. Because we're in for the long haul. Now... Sword of Justice would be the best play in the next turn, and that's not good. And I'm still okay with it, because what I can do now is just use Hammer of Wrath on turn 4 to get rid of his Tauren Warrior. That's okay. That works for me. Warren Warrior. <sighs> it's a funny minion. That is for the most part the best possible play. He obviously doesn't know that I've got the Hammer of Wrath. Oh, you know what? Consecration would be really cool right now. I can dig a Consecration. What now? No. Eye. Oh, whew. that's fine. That's okay. It was, dude. It actually could be construed as an error. Huh. Now I've changed my mind about the Hammer of Wrath because there's just no point. So I can either let the Yetis rise as a 5 6, which is pretty impressive, but I think better. Better play here is the Argent Squire and the Scarlet Crusader. Yes. Because I want to use as much of the Sword of Justice as I can before he removes it somehow. Now, a cleave could happen, a whirlwind could happen. There are a multitude of outcomes that are possible for this turn, most of them negative. Of course. So we'll see. 
I'd prefer it if you just played a big minion. I'd even be okay with a silver hand knight. I'd be cool with that. Mm. I'm good with shield block. Use your hero ability. Taking four damage. Then he's gonna put this on there. I suppose. Are you gonna do it? Then I would gladly use my sword of justice to kill this along with an attack from the Argent Squire. Huh? I suppose this is smart. So he attacks there, this enrages, it lives. He trades there, then I'm forced to, I guess, attack into it with a sword of justice. Because I would do that. Huh. Wow. Now it's time for the old hammer. Right? Means I'm going to lose this. But I could use humility. Oh, I want to say this is the perfect opportunity for humility. But this is also the perfect opportunity for the hammer. Let's see what we draw. That's going to be saved. Once again, I'm going to use humility along with the auctioneer. So, that means that we are going to put this here. And this here. And pass it. I think that was the best. There was some other funny stuff I could have done with like the Sword of Justice along with a 2-2 two -two on his 3-4. Could have done that. I guess. I don't know. That may well have been a better play, but I'm still happy with what I did. Oh! Well, that's a strange card to play. Now I'm going to go with this. And I will do it along with the humility. I get the best deals anyway. So that I can draw the extra card. This is okay. Bear with me for a second here. And I can kill this over two turns. Yes. Whew. It's sad that that's my only humility, but it happened. Gotta do it. Now, it would be amazing if this can survive. Then I wouldn't even need to put that there in the next turn, so I can use Consecration to kill it. That would be great. Otherwise, I wouldn't mind summoning the Yeti. Huh. There we go. Two cards drawn. Battle Rage, still pretty decent. After being nerfed. Oh, there it goes. Now, what I do like about this situation is that if I put this out, it's got six. So it's just out of range. Of his really big axe. And I can use the last charge on a reinforce. Or should I use it on this? Let's rather go the reinforce. Making the best of it. Then I'm ready for the True Silver Champion. Ready for the Stormwind Champion. Consecrate Stampeding Kodo. Good position. I'm okay with my position. If he doesn't do something funky. Aha! Well, that's not really funky. I'm cool with that. Oh! Man, what? What's the chance? <laughs> what? The one card that can make it work for him. The one card. He has. 
Hmm. The one card. So I'm definitely not playing this yet. And this is probably the best bet. Let me think. Yes. I'll tell you my plan in just a second. Yes. This is it. So now, what I want him to do, and I don't know if he's going to do it, but I want him to put this here to attack there with that. Okay, so he'll kill the four and the two, and then in the next turn, I can play the Stormwind Champion along with the Charger, and I can kill that with the Charger. See, it's already happening, because the Charger will have one extra attack, it'll have three, so it will be able to kill this. This is, this is perfect. Here's hoping he doesn't play another Arcanite Reaper. Okay, that kind of messes things up a little bit. <laughs> Fine. Okay, so the whole plan basically just gets pushed back by a turn because I need to play this now. Yes. I need to play this now so I can bust through there. I also want this in play at some point, but maybe not yet. Maybe now the best time for this has come. So the Kodo takes care of that. The sword can take care of one of these two. Doesn't really matter which one. I think I'd prefer it if it was that. Just in case. Not sure this one can get healed up. But that ain't no big thing. Huh. So you can put that there. You can attack with a weapon there and you can kill it. Sorry, what happened? Is he about to play a big legendary or something? Oh. Uh. Oh. Well, that's fine. Whatever. Happens all the time, dude. Don't be sorry. It's okay. Thank you. <laughs> Execute. Oh my goodness, dude. Going a little bit crazy here, aren't we? Huh. So. Now I need something to deal with that, and this is exactly how I'm going to do it. Nice. Now, do I want to sweeten the pot for him a little bit? I don't think so. So what I will do... ...is play this. See, Consecrate would be so good right now, seeing that it would kill those, give him three extra attack, make him want to attack with this one. But I can't heal. I'm not playing Priest. So the safer play is probably the Stormwind Champion along with the Charger. Then I can take care of one of these two. And just have one other to worry about. Mm. Yes. Behold the might of Stormwind. This is a safer play. And then what can happen is I can kill this in the next turn if he does put it on my Stormwind Champion. So there's that. All right. That's why I call that turn all right. I do, however, need the cards that I can potentially draw from Blessing of Wisdom. Okay. Now I need another Blessing of Wisdom. Because that's not good. Is he attacking? Oh my goodness. Okay. Huh. Well played. Why is he saying well played? Is it over? I wasn't aware that it was over already. For the king. Got enough to kill that now. Okay. Then... I can play one of these two. Okay, so here it is. If I put that there, it'll have three health left. And if I consecrate... I can't kill it. <sighs> but if I consecrate, then I can kill this and that. But then this will be all the way up at like five. This is tough. 
Let me think. But I might need to consecrate. I will crush you. Enrage in this thing? Is that a good idea? Fine. It has to happen. So I should have attacked first, so I could have done three instead of just two. That's seven damage. He needs seven more from his hand right now. Seven more. Okay, that's not seven damage just yet. I feel like that wasn't the optimal play here. I do like drawing cards. I really do. Okay. I mean, I thought he would have wanted to put that damage on me. Your magic shall not save me. Sadly, that had to happen now. So. This is a very all-in type of play, but I think that it has to happen. Job done. So it all depends on what he has in his hand. I mean, that's six damage right there. If he has three damage, just three in his hand, he's got me dead. Just three. So an axe, another mortal strike, something else like that, a charger. Okay, I mean, that's good for him. I think he just did that to draw the card because there's not much he can really do here. Huh. Interesting. He's got so much card draw though. That's not interesting, that's just annoying. It's as if he had the perfect cards in his hand for this situation. The perfect cards. And I already think it was a one health. Let the pain this is... Me. This is intense. Reporting for duty. So... If I put this on here, then I can kill, well, pretty much anything that makes the most sense doing that. So I can take the Yeti out right now. Then he's only got six damage and we're once again in the same position. He's got six, he needs three more. If he has something in his hand that does three, he kills me. Well played. And there it is. Why did it take him so long to figure that out? No, dude. No, Jacob. Bad Jacob. Well played. <sighs> well played. <sighs> so, did he get lucky or did I play badly? Or did he play well? I mean, I, I guess that's a possibility too. Let's just queue up for the next game right now before I think about it too much. <sighs> Old Jacob. So he had a lot of weapons in his deck. And... I'm not sure. I'm not sure where that went wrong. I suppose the one turn where he got to play upgrade on Arcanite Reaper. That is probably where most would say it went wrong. But that's not something I could have like anticipated at all. Not in the least. Thunderstalk. Well, this is good. I will fight with honor. I'm gonna drop the blessing. Hmm. And get a much better blessing. Play the imp. I always want to see that imp played immediately. Although playing it now after seeing this just doesn't make sense. 
He's gonna coin. What's it gonna be? Oh man, I'm so sorry. I am sorry. Hmm. I greet you. Well met. That's good. Thank you. Blessing of wisdom. I wouldn't put it on this. Not at all. But I would put this on this. That's something I would do. What you want? Oh. Well, well. So we know he's got a mortal coil. But we gotta do that anyway. Warlocks always have mortal coil. Demon fire. Oh, that's better. Better for me than mortal coil. Okay. Blood imp. Hmm. Now I get to start playing these useful ones. The light protects me. Start doing some damage. I like it. I'm even tempted to put Blessing of Wisdom on this. In the next turn. Ready for action. I was gonna say that is if he doesn't play something that gets in the way. Ugh, this is so difficult now. Let's just do it. I'm gonna go all in on this minion. No, what if he silences? I fight. Thank you. I should go for him. Right? Right. Then I can put this out. Not yet. I'm trying to figure out what he can do with a Hellfire. And honestly, not very much. Not very much, because a Hellfire will do just as much damage to him and it won't even kill this. It's a Siphon Soul or something. Oh my. Is that pretty much it? That's a target for my Blessing of Wisdom. Oh, wait. No. Rather sweeten the deal for him. So, make him want to attack with it. Oh, I put it on here and I attack right now. Because it is obviously slightly more difficult for him. Now, I'm rather going to disable his, because that's what I like doing. I'm going to summon another one of these. I'm just going to attack straight through. This is not bad. This is a very aggressive game. Because he's kind of dead in the next turn if he doesn't deal with everything. He's dead. Huh. Okay. So this is what the bottom of the barrel feels like. <laughs> this right here. Oh, man. I've got enough. There we go. Whew, fortunately, I won another one. That's my four wins. That's me, Lumen, happy. Prediction reached. Now, I might even get more wins than just four wins. So that's okay. You can check back here soon to see if that's going to happen, if that will become a reality. I love Blessing of Wisdom. I really do. And Blessing of Kings too. That's also very good. Give the video a like, share it, and do all that other good stuff. Check back here soon for more. Subscribe if you haven't already. Most importantly though. Happy Paladin in the arena. Happy four wins. The good old average. Happy that. Yeah.